Josiah Henson's story is a remarkable tale of a man who escaped the brutal bonds of slavery. He built a settlement for fugitive slaves and a school where their children could receive a proper education. His memoirs were a key inspiration for Uncle Tom's Cabin, the best-selling novel of the 19th century, which Abraham Lincoln credited with starting the Civil War. Josiah Henson's efforts on behalf of the Underground Railroad helped more than 100 slaves escape to freedom. My four times grandfather lost his ear for protecting this black woman and they seeds couldn't shed tears. He stumbled in the shack from a slave master's attack. Bloody and blue black, I carry that. Josiah was three years old when his father was sold for violating a slave codes. His first and only memory of black masculinity and what it meant to be. He saw his father um, being brought to the center of the plantation and put on display and his punishment for having touched a, a white person because in those days it was illegal for a black to touch a white person his father's punishment was that he was lashed a hundred times and then his, his right ear was tacked to a post and then cut off with a knife and just imagine having to witness that at such a young age he grew up in his siblings were split up sold down a river to the highest bidder as a young man worked as a field hand till he was crippled by a man by his plantation a broken arm and shattered shoulder blades made his soul so his arms couldn't raise above his neckline he was 18 at the time slaves were supplied with the barest minimum of food and clothing they lived in single room huts with only packed dirt for a floor, and 10 or 12 adults and children would crowd into each hut to sleep. The huts provided little protection from the dampness and cold, and they did not permit the common decencies of life. He learned a word but couldn't read a word, and stole food rations to feed the other captives, jumped a wooden broom in amidst the slave tombs, the origin of this genre called blues. Four seeds later and no manumission papers. A lawsuit spoiled his own estranged fruit. 1825, he took a boat ride with 18 other captives by his side. A change in time. I often ask youth that I teach, imagine someone tormenting you that bad that you're willing to walk hours and days just to get away from them. This journey often took weeks at a time. And as a forerunner of the Underground Railroad, Josiah Henson didn't have a lot of allies who were willing to risk their lives to help him and his family seek freedom. They had to travel on uncharted terrain under the cover of darkness through creeks and use the stars and the moss on the trees to guide them. And once he reached freedom in Canada, still wasn't satisfied and traveled deeper into the province of Ontario and eventually became one of the founders of the Dawn Settlement where other captives were allowed to reside. Josiah Henson helped negotiate over 200 acres of land in order to create that settlement. And central to that settlement was the British American Vocational Institute. In addition, he was a leader of a black militia a couple generations, my grandmother was born. Inez Dorsey Frank, my father. Philip Bradley Frank. Eventually, I was born. 